Okay, so for each three Provox term panels, the one we remove plus the next two, they will occupy two racks of charms. So for every three panels, we have three more here, three more there, and then one last panel will be 16. Those charm racks will then be able to be communicated with two CIOTs that would be mounted at the top of the cabinet. Those CI CIOCs and all of the related I.O. will communicate back to the Delta V control network through a switch. Primary and secondary networks are supported on that CIOC. And each individual channel, although it can go to a different controller, in the case of Provox, because each panel has been dedicated to a controller, most likely each channel on the charm rack will go back to one controller. However, in some cases, there could have been I.O. terminated in Provox for convenience, which actually used virtual I.O. to get back to a controller that really needed that point. If that were the case, we could individually target certain charms here back to a different controller if that were the right thing to do for the layout of the software.